In this problem, we're looking to verify that two functions f and g are in fact inverses by showing that f, when we compose f with g and we compose g with f, they both just equal x. So that's a pretty interesting thing about inverses is when you compose a function with its inverse, you just get x as a result. You get whatever the argument is. And that should be true in both directions. So this is one of those rare cases where f composed with g and g composed with f actually do equal the same value, and that value should be x. And then once we've done that, we're going to talk about any values that should be excluded. Uh, we can actually do that part first. Um, so if we look at each of these functions, we know that f of x is a line, which is just a type of polynomial function. And we know that any linear equation has a domain of all real numbers. So there are no domain restrictions on this first function. Um, g of x is also a line. It's just kind of written in a weird way. Just the one third has not been distributed through. So its domain is also all real numbers, which means neither of these functions have domain restrictions. So their composition will not have domain restrictions either. So let's try this first one. Let's take a look at this first composition. So what is f of g of x going to be? So if I compose f with g, uh, that means I'm evaluating f at the entire function of g of x, which is 1 third times the quantity x minus 4. So I'm basically taking this and substituting it in for x in f. So this is going to be 3 times that whole quantity plus 4. So that's 1 third. So I'm actually going to distribute this. So 1 third times x is 1 third x. And then 1 third times 4 is negative 4 thirds. So I just distributed here. Now if I want to evaluate this or simplify this, I'm just going to take 3 and distribute that through. So 3 times 1 third x is just 1x. And then 3 times negative 4 is negative 4. And then all of that is being added to 4. And we can see that this negative 4 and this positive 4 cancel. And so we end up with just x. So we see that f of g of x is just x. So that's this first one verified. So now let's go through and compose g with f. So what is g of f of x? So g of f of x means we're going to evaluate my function g at f of x. And f of x is 3x plus 4. So anywhere that we see x, we're going to plug in 3x plus 4. So that's going to be equal to 1 third times some quantity, which is 3x plus 4. And then that quantity is going to be subtracting 4 from it. So 3x plus 4 minus 4, we can see that this positive 4 and this negative 4, those are going to cancel. So we end up with 1 third times 3x. And then 1 third times 3x, that's just going to be x, which we've then shown that g, uh, g of f of x is also just x. So we have confirmed that this is in fact true, which means that f and g are inverses. So f of x is the inverse of g of x, and g of x is the inverse of f of x.